Mandalore the Indomitable was a ferocious leader that would lead his people into an alliance with the Sith 4,000 years before the Battle of Yavin. But who exactly is Mandalore the Indomitable? One of the last Torn to ever hold the title of Mandalore, he was an ambitious crusader that managed to gain the rank of Mandalore through his various exploits. He eventually gained the name Indomitable through his ability to find victory regardless of the odds. He engaged in numerous raids on surrounding systems, including freeing and eventually recruiting slaves. He was also the Mandalore who caused exodus from the traditional worship of gods and made war a vital part of the Mandalorian religion. However, he wanted more, and went in search of an even greater challenge. He heard rumours that the Empress Teta system had been taken over by a rogue Jedi turned Sith Lord named Ulic Queldrommer, who had stretched the system's military too thinly, and this made all to a tempting target. The Mandalorians attacked in several raids designed to test their defences. Drama responded by warning Indomitable that if he didn't leave immediately, he would kill every Mandalorian in Indomitable's army. Now, Mandalore's response was a counter-proposal, a duel between the two, winner takes all, and Drama accepted. This was to be Mandalore's crowning moment, taking the entire system with one swing of his axe. Mandalore even attempted to push the odds in his favour. The battle would take place high above the world's surface on a series of interlocking chains. As well as this, Mandalore was allowed to use his own Basilisk war droid as a war mount, whilst Droma had nothing. Despite these unfavourable terms, Droma still agreed. Ultimately, after a hard-won duel, the Sith won. Mandalore was defeated. He handed over control of his warriors to Droma, a significant prize, and requested Droma to kill him. However, the Sith had other plans. Mandalore was a great tactician, warrior, and inspired confidence in his armies. He was more useful alive than dead. Drama demanded fealty in exchange for his life, and Mandalore agreed. By the time of the Great Sith War, Drama was ordered by his master to go after the Republic's key assets, ordering Mandalore to attack key Republic shipyards to cripple their navy. Mandalore led his crusaders and was incredibly efficient, especially when being backed by Dark Sith sorcery and the forces of the Empress Teta system. Now, the initial plan was to take the shipyards and then await Drama's master, Exar Kun, to send Sith warriors to back them before attacking Coruscant. However, Mandalore convinced Drama and Kun that with the ships taken from the conquered shipyards, they would be able to take Coruscant alone, and Kun gave his consent. Unfortunately, the attack on Coruscant was cut short when one of Drama's advisors betrayed him, resulting in him being captured by Republican Jedi forces and was set to stand trial for his many crimes. Now, Mandalore could have abandoned Drama and left with his Mandalorian Crusaders. However, he chose to seek out Drama's master, Exar Kun, and seek aid in rescuing him from the Republic's hands. Kuhn and Mandalore led a legion of Mandalorians and Masasi, and they breached the Senate, killing the Grand Chancellor as well as countless Jedi and security forces in the process in order to free Drummer. Impressed with Mandalore's loyalty, Drummer gave him a special assignment. He and his Crusaders would take Onderon, a proud and well-defended world. A fight that would not easily be won, but would reward them with a new tier of glory previously unknown, and Mandalore and his Crusaders relished it. However, this would ultimately be Mandalore's final command. During his campaign, he was outmatched by both Onderon and Republic forces. He was ruthless and persistent, but eventually he ran out of luck. Ordering a tactical retreat, his personal basilisk war droid was shot down over Onderon's jungle moon. He crash-landed. Injured and alone, the strange lethal jungle beast savaged Indomitable. His final stand, and no one was there to see it. His body was eventually found by another crusader, who took his mask as his own and would avenge the fallen Mandalore many years later in the Mandalorian Wars. But what do you think of Mandalore the Indomitable? Now good news for all you Mandalorian fans out there, this week's Mandalorian week on my channel. Every day a different video surrounding a different subject on the Mandalorians, so don't forget to have the bell tick to stay up to date. Also, please remember to like, sub and share if you did enjoy this, as it helps the channel grow and is really appreciated. And follow me on Twitter at TheLawGuy for regular updates. Thanks for watching, I do hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.